Hi there, this is Dylan, and I'm recording this video upon waking up out of some really intense trauma processing, deprogramming, nightmare experiences. It's the best way I know to put it. Um, because they're kind of like dreams and they're kind of not. Um, and I just felt compelled to make a quick video affirming any survivors of REMC specifically, but survivors of trauma in general, who are homeless or in some other highly stressful circumstance um, that makes healing from past trauma difficult. Because I feel like a lot of times... I know I've been to therapists and they have told me that until I get into an environment that is safe enough, I will not be able to actually heal any trauma. And there is some truth to that, to a degree. However, I just want to affirm people who are trying to process trauma while in highly stressful situations. Um, it is possible to... Uh, do a considerable amount of integration work while still going through ongoing trauma if one applies oneself in a mindful way. I've talked a lot on this channel about mindfulness and uh, I just feel like now would be a good time for some reason to reaffirm all this for people and to state once again that through mindfulness practice and inner child work it is possible to heal even if ideal circumstances for healing are never found or never found until one has already healed a lot. Okay, that's all I have for this. I hope that you guys are doing all right. I know that this month is really hard um, for a lot of you and uh, I really hope that you will forgive us for wearing such a triggering hoodie right now. Um, it's just very comforting and like I said, we just woke up out of these intense experiences and so um, this is something we're doing to cope, wearing something so comfortable and snug. Okay, that's really all I have. Bye.